Tracy here. Today I thought I would share with you my Christmas cards that I made this year. And like I had mentioned in my tag video, I'm trying to simplify all my Christmas stuff this year, my Christmas crafts, because I want to spend more time with my grandbaby. So these ones, to simplify it, I did them all the same. Well, they were supposed to be all the same. So let me walk you through them. This is the first one I did. And this is raised up. And I wanted to stamp the birds, but look, it didn't look too good. I'm like, no, I actually need a die cut of birds. And I didn't have any. And as you can see on this one, there is just a plain background. I layered it on top with pop dots, but there's no color around the background. So I'm like, yeah, that's cute. I like that. At first, I didn't like it. But once I added the snowflakes and the stickles in the middle of the snowflakes, I'm like, yeah, I kind of like that. So I'll keep that. But, like I said, I wanted to change up the birds. So, I have this stamps, or I have this die set. I brought it here. Here it is. So, I tried it with this one. I added some color to it. I popped up the sentiment so it looks like... Um, this one I forgot to ink it. <laughs> See what I mean? They're all just a tad different. But I stamped the tree. And then I have this die cut here. I have this die, I guess I should say. Once you use it, it's a die cut. And um, I liked it, and I was going to use it like on the card itself. But this is very intricate, and they're not all attached. So I figured, you know what? Simplify. So I stamped the tree instead. And I just used these two birds from the die set. And then adhered those on. So my daughter said she liked the color background better. So that's what I did. And then this is the final one. See how I inked it up? It is still pop dotted up the sentiment, but I inked it so it, it pops a little bit more. And then I added the color around it, um, some pattern paper with some color, and then the two birds. And this is how they were supposed to look. But for some reason, I could not cut properly. I, I was getting so frustrated. I actually had to walk away. I'm really pretty good in math, actually. But for some reason, I kept screwing it up. So most of them are like this. So they have a little bit more pattern paper at the top and the bottom. Because the card panels, I cut them wrong. So what I did was everything was assembly line style. So first... I made my cards because I usually make my, my cards and then I cut all the pattern paper then I cut all the, the what are these card called and then I cut all my card bases or my card fronts and then I went and I stamped them all and then I stickled them and as the stickles were drying I went and I cut out all of the birds and then I did all the Merry Christmas that's a separate piece there popped on it up so after I did all that, and then as I was assembling them last night, that's when I came to the realization that, oh great, I miscut my card front. But you know what? It is what it is. There is no way in heck I am going to redo them. They were all adhered. All the pattern paper was adhered to the actual cards. And then when I was adding the card panel or the card front, that's when I realized I miscut them. But they were already done. So you know what? Who's going to notice? I'm going to notice. Who else is going to notice? You guys, because I shared it with you. But nobody else getting these cards are going to think that that um, these are any different. They're not going to know the difference. And I'm keeping it simple. So I have, I think, 37, 38 cards. So now I just have to address them all. And yeah, I really actually I like how they turned out considering when I did my first one. It's like, yeah, I don't like this. And I was doing them Friday night scrapbooking and my friends were like, no, I like it. And I'm like, yeah, I don't like it. But then when I started adding the snowflakes, like I said, and adding a little bit of color behind the background, it's like, yeah, I like that a lot better. So those are my cars that are going out this year. And I hope I have everybody, because I know last year I got some cards from people I wasn't expecting to get cards from. So I add them onto my list, and because that's what I do. I add everybody onto my list, and then if I don't get cards for them from, if I don't receive cards from them for 
five years, my sister-in-law says I'm too easy because <laughs> if I don't get a card from somebody for five years, then I take them off my list, depending on who they are, of course. And because you can't give to everybody, like 37 cards, this took me like a day or two to do these. And now it's going to take another day to ad address them all. So, and then mail them out. But I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I hope that didn't sound like I was complaining because I love to make cards. But I came to the conclusion that I'm going to simplify ca my cards. And actually, I'm going to simplify my Christmas cards every year because a lot of people, they don't really save them. They usually just toss them later on. So I'll simplify by making all the same cards. That's as simple simplified as I can get and I'll just keep going more elaborate with my birthday cards for those who um, I send birthday cards to. So anyway I just wanted to share that with you and I hope you all are having a very creative day and I'm getting finally into the into the um, festive season. I think we're going to put our tree up tomorrow. I usually do it 12 days before Christmas so we'll be putting that up tomorrow. And yeah, so I'm excited and with a new grandbaby, even though he has no idea what's going to be happening because he's only like a month and a month and a half old, he's not going to even understand what Christmas is about. But yeah, so I'm excited for the season and I hope you are too. So thank you everybody for watching and I hope you all have a very creative day and a Merry Christmas if I don't do another video by then. Bye now!